No, 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 not Pikachu. We, yeah. we talked about this. <laughs> uh, you're a puff main. This is your best chance. Did, did he actually bring that with him? I think I think someone brought it, uh, but okay. uh, I got a video of him just dancing around in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. And uh, they're getting into it. Um, Mark going for an up smash, wanting to get a very uh, strong combo on Jigglypuff. Yeah, there we go. That's yeah. the rest combo that we keep talking about. Yeah, CTG, I think he has some of the best awareness of uh, what move to use at what percent to kill Pikachu. Uh, anytime he gets that throw, he's looking at that percentage. 15% uh, or more uh, up air to rest. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to save my encourage Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, no. Um, CTG's gotten really well over the past couple of years at uh, doing like weak reverse hits. So yeah. We saw Wake Garrett do that a lot. And I think when people started seeing Wake Garrett do it, it opened up everyone's eyes to all these different options yeah. guys to, to adjust for people's DI if they want to yeah. get the standards. Because really what was on everyone's head is like only uh, up air to rest. And then it's like, wait, I can do uh, and weak hits. And there's always cover, they cover DI options, which is, yeah. which is great. And CTG's really gotten good at doing all that uh, to kind of combat all different styles of players. Pika's. Oh, and, wow. I feel like the rest was a mistake there. I, I think he went for it on purpose, um, but Nair just lasting a little too long for it to work. And Bark just kind of floating in a CTG space where he wanted to go and dropping aerials until he's forced to go uh, right into Pikachu's hitbox. Yeah, and Bark's good at this matchup. Uh, you know, Dark yeah. does have a puff, so he gets some experience in that. Um, and he's done well. He, he beat uh, Young K earlier yesterday. Great, great at spacing. Because got some good hitboxes for spacing. Um, yeah, especially it, it against Puff. It can be hard when you know Puff's got so many jumps that a lot of people overcommit to how they want to approach Puff. Puff narrowly jumps out of it. Yeah. Bark, Bark usually doesn't get fooled. Yeah, like right there. Like even whipping out the forward tilt, something yeah, you don't like see that. very often. But um, putting CTG back off stage. No, it's a down air. Oh, oh. does get another down air. That's a little bit slow for CTG. And great DI from Bark, though, uh, to just turn the yeah, situation around. That's, uh, it's game one. Yeah. And CTG was such an incredible start, but Bark just, uh, after that, it didn't really look like CTG was really playing on the same level as he was. Bark kind of clamped down there. Like, yeah. the mistake there is, like, you know, he got up, he saw him going to the platform, so that's kind of a trap Bark would set up. CTG yeah. thought he could just down here through it. Bark's expecting that, so I guess they're just the up tilt to, to down here. I think we would have seen a different result if CTG hadn't gone for that rest that he missed. True. Um, that that kind of switched the momentum. Yeah, when you make a mistake like that, it gets in your head. You know, then you start playing differently because you don't want to make more mistakes. Yeah. And then you just end up like forfeiting what makes you a player. Yeah. Um, when you're second guessing what you're used to and what's ingrained in your head, especially like on on the big stage like this. Good um, call out from that up B. Great job with CTG. There. CTG following up incredibly well. Did Calls out the jump as well. Uh, but Mark just so good at snapping to the ledge. And up air. Uh, Puff has the strongest up air in the game for, for killing. So it doesn't kill there, but it'll kill around like 100%. Yeah. Uh, and I really like this from CTG. Um, he's had the rest option taken away from him for a while Oh, he now. misses the grab. So he went for the dash. He just got into the slow walk in. He missed it. That would have yeah. been stuck. Fortunate CTG's going to... He's, he's not going to be happy rewatching that when he goes back home. Yeah, and he's taking such costly percent otherwise. Um, he was at close to 0%. Oh, great festival to avoid the edge guard by Bork. Reverse back air. Keeps uh, that, keeps that nair, keep that uh, nair. Keep the tail, I think. Oh, yeah. So that's why he wants to do something to refresh that back up. And there it is. And nair becomes weak very early. Like, it's, uh, it's, it quickly becomes weak. So if you're trying to tech chase with it, you're usually going to get a weak hit on a strong hit. Yeah. Shrunk doesn't last very long. But it's just such a large uh, hitbox. Uh, one down here by CTG. Keeps him off. Oh, you got. That's where you yeah. got a fastball down here. Just put, pop it back on Bark. I was kind of hoping for uh, an up air there. Uh, that's gonna be a dead CTG. We got to stop leaving Bark now. Over the top, top. kill too. Uh, Bark smart, not to change his position. Just stay in a position where CTG is just gonna meet him. Rendezvous on side flat. Uh, four four tilt. Tilt. I don't know if that was a, if that was intentional. Yeah. Um. It might have been. Maybe trying just to get him to Probably, side pipe. I, I would have guessed he tried to do like one off forward air. Yeah. And he just doesn't get the runoff. We saw him miss the dashing grab, so maybe he you know, sticks. 
And Vector not gonna kill, but he just needs one solid read. And so probably gonna go down air. Yeah. The down air will pop back up if you don't see cancel. The grab's oh, gonna wow. take it. Yep. CTG back in this. 2-2. Two, two. Uh, CTG has been doing pretty well at uh, edge guarding Park though, so maybe that was just was what was in his head for uh, that back air instead of the down air. And Bart's DI on the down airs is making it pretty difficult for CTG to get to the punishes that he Gets wants. Gets back up. That's important for CTG to not do this out there. Yeah. And he's got his jumps back, so... Um, now, the, I would love to see a fastball down air right on him. When, Bart, when, when Pika misses, when commits to an aerial and misses, Puff should be able to get a punish. Yeah. And teleports back to center stage. Uh, no, he's got it. Not a great good. DI from CTG, but not, not enough. enough. DI, DI, DI is for only when you're losing it. When you're losing, you're losing. Bad roll. That was a terrible roll from CCG. I, yeah. I have to feel like that was a mistake. Ooh, and it doesn't get grab, yeah. When you pop so close to the ledge, a lot of times you're still in the lag and you just don't, you miss the ledge and Puff doesn't yeah. have a lot of height with it with their jumps, so it's just... Yeah, especially after you use your two, uh, is it two strong jumps? Or I mean, or every jump gives you a little bit of height, but yeah, yeah there's like but two the that actually, or two or three that actually do yeah. anything significant, and the rest are kind of just hovering heights. Yeah, but there's like a height from Puff's Pound where some of the jumps will get back to the ledge and the other ones will just kind of keep it really safe. Um, unfortunate, but uh, CTG taking off the bow. Yes, he been, has been really, really good at uh, making sure he like, hits Park out of up B. It's yeah. been kind of impressive to see how well he's done that. Yeah, he uses the uh, teleport incredibly well to get to top flat. Uh, from and even an approach, you can just like zo zoom in there and just get a hit on you. you know? Yeah. <laughs> get him attack. Nice. But TDD yesterday, he beat me pretty badly. He's, uh, he's loved with a lot the past year. Just, yeah. I think, you know, when, seeing Wayne Garrett play opened up his eyes to just all of what Puff can do, and he's been implementing it so well. And uh, yeah, I think that's one of the main reasons why we love just bringing over those top players because they kind of show characters in a light that we haven't been able to see before. Like Karabo with Yoshi, you know, like we've yeah. seen Wizard do well, but he just did all these new things. Karabo with Yoshi, Pukuru with Kirby. Uh, and Wario kind of accelerated the peak of Meta for a long time when he came over here in 2015. 2016. 2016. Very early 2016. Uh, yeah, Genesis 3. Shock the world, money. Yeah. And another great getup attack. Misses. And misses. Yeah, the you gotta, you gotta. A lot of times for Amiga, what you wanna do is you wanna jump out and then jump in because you can read which way they go. And what that also does is, uh, typically it'll send. Uh, I like how CG didn't go for wrestler because he would have probably been punished by Bark, and he had a high percentage who, who would kill. And great edge cancel from Bark. Um, he really needed it there. Even if Bart takes this and it goes 3-0, it's a, it's a close set. You know, you can't always look at the numbers. You gotta look at how it's played. We've seen a lot of close games last stocks. Yeah. Great forward smash. CTG has here. been on point with the uh, edge guarding peak too yeah, this game. Yeah, outstanding with it. And Puff's not really a character that you say like, oh, you know, uh, they edge guard Pikachu super well. But CTG just using everything in this toolkit to make it look very, very doable. Yeah, use the whole Puff arsenal. Ooh, the up smash. Actually, I probably think that was intentional, but yeah, because the hitbox is actually moving for it. Puffs up smash. I think it's just as strong as Mario and Luigi, which is the strongest up smash in the game. Great reverse ledge DI, but uh, Bart just not giving him any space to get back. And uh, Bart had to percent where CTG is gonna be looking for a grab, and Bart not gonna give it to him. That jab might have been a mistake. I think he meant to up tilt there to try to call out the OP. Um, something and the forward there. smash by Park. Uh, I guess he, he got a new CG didn't have a lot of jumps, so there's not really anywhere CG can go. And yeah. just the forward smash is such good horizontal range that it can cover a lot. It puts that platform. Yeah. So 3 over for Park, but that set was way closer than that score looks. Yeah, um, CTG just looked incredibly well in some spots, but uh, kind of faltered when Bark uh, 